Welcome back. In keeping with our holiday theme of ending the year by doing good for others, we are so excited to introduce Bratil Agassi, who is the director at Wise Place in Orange County. And Wise Place is a women's shelter. So tell us about what you do, who do you, who's your person, who's your ideal person, and how sure. can we help? Sure. Um, at Wise Place, we have been a staple in the Orange County community since 1929, and we help uh, women facing adversity. Uh, so we support um, homeless women rebuild their lives. Wow. How do you do that? I'm sorry. That's a really big undertaking. So how do you do that? It is. At Wise Place, we essentially have two programs. We have an emergency shelter where the, when the Civic Center and the riverbed encampments were broken up, it was Wise Place that really stepped up for Orange County and, and help um, bring home, if you will, 60 women. Wow. We also allow their domestic animals to be at our shelter as well. That's so great. And so mm. we're open 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. We never shut down wow. so that uh, women will not be on the streets alone. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, do they, are they able to come to you? Do they know to come to you? Um, do they seek you out? How, yeah. do you, how do you make sure people know about Wise Place? Um, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And so uh, women can just kind of walk up to our shelter, mm -hmm. again, because we, we don't ever shut down. We're open 24 hours a day. We also have our transitional shelter program that supports about 40 women at one time. Okay. So at any given moment, we are supporting 100 women who are experiencing homelessness, mm -hmm. finds a safe haven mm -hmm. at Wise Place. I love that they... You describe it as women facing adversity mm -hmm. because I feel like that is so, um, like, it brings the humanity into the process, you know, and sure. it's, it's just, that's who we are. We're all, we're all women, right. and we, some of us have really difficult challenges to overcome. And you know what? It can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. It's not always something you see coming, and all of a sudden you're on the street with nowhere to go. It really mm -hmm. can. So in the, uh, we serve about over 300 women a year, but uh, about 100 women a day. Mm -hmm. And I tell everyone, Wise Place literally serves everybody. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is we have 18 to, um, in 2008, our uh, kind of oldest participant was 94 years old. Mm -hmm. And so at 94 years old, I don't think, obviously, she was not expecting to experience homelessness. Sure. Yes. Sure. So what kind of programs do you offer then to these women to help them rebuild? We have, obviously, shelter is our core component to mm -hmm. make sure that no woman is uh, alone on the streets. But we provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner at our shelter. We have case management and all types of wraparound services. So we have psychiatric support, counseling, because the women of Wise Place have experienced a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. um, over half of our women are survivors of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So to have that counseling support in-house is so crucial mm -hmm. to be able to kind of um, face the trauma that you've faced in your life and, and start to rebuild. Mm -hmm. Financial empowerment is a huge component of what we do at Wise Place. So everybody has a case manager and a financial empowerment case manager to help the women get and keep a job and start saving. Um, and then obviously the ultimate goal is housing, mm -hmm. right? To help somebody find their way out of our shelter, which is a temporary situation, sure. into their own housing. How long do you find the average, per the average woman staying with you? In our transitional shelter, it's about a six to eight month program mm -hmm. to rebuild. In our emergency shelter, it could really vary, um, but the average length of stay is about 100 days. Okay. okay. And so how can we help? How can, what can we do? Some, you know, I, I don't know if you experience this, but sometimes during the holidays, I think, I just really want to like do something that actually means something. Mm -hmm. And this is so meaningful. So how, do, really we, how do we engage with, your, with uh, Wise yes. Place? Well, our doors are open to passionate and, and heartfelt people that want to help women facing homelessness. Um, we are even open on like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Some of our most popular volunteer opportunities are helping serve a meal. Mm -hmm. So whether that's you want to get together family, friends, or your company to cook the meal mm -hmm. itself, but if if being in the kitchen is not your thing. Can we cook, on your, your <laughs> we cook <laughs> on your premises? Because if we cook in my house, it's never going to happen. <laughs> if that's not 
have your uh, your talent, so to speak. You can sponsor a meal, or you can come and mm -hmm. help serve the meal. Um, you know, sharing a meal with somebody mm -hmm. that's warm and nutritious is just such a great way to bring that humanity. It gives you, as a volunteer, an opportunity to look somebody in the eye, engage mm -hmm. with a woman experiencing homelessness, and have a conversation. Um, the women in our shelter are so used to being invisible mm -hmm. when they're on the street, and so to have volunteer groups come in and show that they care by uh, not just serving a meal, but maybe even staying after. We play bingo a lot at the shelter. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> we do fun. art projects. We do yoga. So, um, you know, obviously you can come and be like a financial coach. There's so many opportunities to really match whatever your strength mm -hmm. is or your right. passion is. I That's can play great. bingo. I can right? do that. <laughs> we can't call out numbers, right? That's right. Hi, that's a, sign me up for bingo. All right. I can it's do that. I can, I can fill a board. Okay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, but but I love what you great. were saying about like the invisibility. I that mm -hmm. is one thing that I actually have wondered about because mm -hmm. there have been a couple of times here in Orange County when I have engaged with someone who is homeless. Sure. And I have found them to be very intelligent and kind mm -hmm. and and articulate. And and I thought, you know. I need to get out of my own bubble and reach out and see these amazing people for who they are. Well, I always find myself wondering how does it happen, right? Mm -hmm. it, because these people do have skills, they've held jobs, Absolutely. they've, it didn't just, you know, it's not always mental illness, mm -hmm. sometimes, but not always. Right. And so it's always been one of those questions of, how how does it happen and then how do they find their way again so mm -hmm. obviously wise right. place is one of those outlets which is just amazing yes thank you and we truly couldn't do it without community support mm -hmm. well we are going to encourage our viewers and our community to come and volunteer and spend your time and get to know someone uh, who could use your help and we all have different expertise and yeah. and it is an opportunity for us to share especially at the holidays as Absolutely. you said this is really this is tis the season yeah. so <laughs> we're hoping that you'll see an influx and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much for coming in to share with us thank you and we'll be right back